Hey, this is Dana White from the UFC, and you're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey guys, Daniel Theodore here for ProMMANow.com with the winner, Tarek Sefadin. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. That was a very nice performance here on the main uh, part of the Strike Force card. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, he came out pretty good in the first half of the first round. Um, you know, he hit you with one or two maybe liver punches. It seemed like you just kept your hands up and you were trying to get his timing and rhythm down. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. I, I was expecting him to come more, you know, more aggressive. So I was, I was trying to, to get my timing and my range and everything. So, yeah, that's what happened in the first half of the round, yeah, as yeah. you said. First round was kind of close, the first couple minutes, because it, it was towards him, and then he started to get it and land some good knees and yeah. got the plum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I felt pretty good in the clinch, throwing my knees, and, uh, you know, uh, so I felt comfortable over there, you know. I've been following your career a long time on the underground forum where I post, uh, you know, I made a big post about you, I think, in, like, 2010, early on. Your first, one of your first fights in the strike force. You know, I was paying attention because the Kyokushin black belt, but also at the end of the fight, someone was shooting on you and you, like, hipped your left leg over and stepped in a mount, right? Yeah, I remember. remember it was against uh, Jim Sterry. Yeah, I remember. There was just, like, crazy athleticism. <laughs> I've never seen that before, the way you, like, hipped in. I don't know. Yeah, I did a little bit of judo, so uh, I got my hips a little bit from judo, so, yeah. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> um, in this fight, you landed a lot of great, very heavy low kicks, um, you know, and some great powerful knees. Y you land the low kicks without setting him up Muay Thai style, without having to telegraph and step out, you know. Can you talk about your Kyokushin background? Yeah, you know, my, my, my background is not really Kyokushin. It's kind of a similar style. It's called Shashinkai. Uh, it's kind of the same style as Kyokushin, but we incorporate also Muay Thai and uh, Judo and grappling also. It's kind of all around in a style, uh, martial arts style. And um, yeah, I train a lot also in Thailand and, and Muay Thai. And, uh, and so I feel really good in those areas. And so you were doing that a long time from before you went to Team Quest, correct? Back yeah. in back in um, Belgium. Belgium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I started in, uh, when I was 16 years old. I started at Style, and uh, until I moved to the U.S. How long have you been at Team Quest in Temecula, right? Yes, uh, I trained until uh, I started in 2008, and then I made the, the the complete move from Belgium in 2009. Very good. So you got your room full of killers like Dan Henderson and Trainway? Yeah, exactly. And uh, he's getting ready for his next fight. So that's, we, we're going to get this belt. <laughs> yeah. How, I, anything particular? How do you think he's going to be able to close the distance against Jones? He's working on it. You know, he has some great sparring partner and uh, he's working on, you know, to close the distance and, and to work on other stuff than just closing the distance. So. Who are the big guys with reach that he's brought in? I mean, it was um, uh, Saul Palalia maybe? Or uh, who, who's got long arms that he's trained with? I was training with Cyril Diabade, uh, which is a UFC yeah, fighter. I trained with Cyril, uh, I rolled with him once in Japan. Oh, yeah, nice. Then, there you go. He's really, he's really technical uh, Muay Thai fighter, and uh, he has long reach, so it's perfect for Dan. Awesome, very good. Great performance tonight. Uh, three in a row, I believe, in Strike Force? Yes, sir. So what's next? Who, what do you think's next? You know, I, I want to yeah, I wanna, I wanna get there, you know, and that's what I've been working on. And uh, I, want, I want a title shot. Yeah. Any idea who they might put against you, if that's what they're doing? I hope that's what they're doing. Yeah, I hope I hope uh, next one is for the title. Yeah, yeah. Anybody cool. out there particularly you'd like to fight or call out? Uh, Nate Marquardt, he has a title, so yeah. yeah. So you want Nate? Uh, I'm here for him. I'm here for the belt. I'm here for you know whoever has the belt. So that'd be a very big fight. That'd be a very exciting fight. So what do you got in store for Nate? More of the same distance, controlling distance, low kicks. You think he has any particular? I mean, he does stand kind of in a sideways boxing stance. So yeah. low kicks, he might be successful too. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's pretty uh, he's pretty sideways, you know. He he has a pretty decent stand up, and uh, I gotta watch the tape with my coaches and everything. And uh, first, I gotta get the fight, and we'll see what what happens. <laughs> well, all right, good luck to you, sir. Thank you very much. Go to ProMMANow.com and uh, hit me up on uh, Dan the Wolfman on Twitter and YouTube. Thank you. Yeah, everybody can follow me on uh, on Twitter at uh, Tarek Fighter, and uh, same thing on Facebook.